I used to. <laughs> Hi. Uh oh. It's height. And it came out so cute. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina and I am an SLPA who typically makes speech videos for other SLPAs on YouTube. However, from time to time, I do share my son and my family on YouTube as well. And today we are kind of just getting back into life. It's summertime, which means I do get the summertime off because I work for a school as an SLPA. And that means I have to get, you know, like my vacation time in. I have to do the spring slash summer cleaning in there and that's aside from just me having kids they don't tell you that you're going to be consistently taking things out of their closet putting away stuff that no longer fits them you have to now store the winter stuff and the summer stuff you have to take out it's a whole process so i'm just gonna have rio help me today one thing i have really learned since having rio in the toddler stage is to not underestimate his abilities i used to <laughs> hi he wants to say hello to huh? We're letting him kind of grow out his hair, which is why he has these little bangs going on. So yes, you see this, we have a whole stack of clothes that needs to be put up, but his closet is just full of things. And what I was saying is I don't really baby him anymore. I mean, I do in certain things, but when it comes to helping around the house, I try to involve him as much as I can. When it comes to cooking, I do the same because toddlers are very much capable of doing what we are asking of them, right? They can do a lot of different things if we allow them to, and that's how they're going to learn. So this is one of the things I want him to pick up, um, I want him to be involved in, is putting his clothes away. Not that I expect him to get the concept of putting clothes away for summer and fall, right? But you know what I mean. So for right now, right, you're gonna help me out? Y'all, another thing is that it's, in Texas, it's like 100 degrees outside. And right now it's not as hot. It's around 90 some degrees outside, but it's still hot. We walked outside just to go get the mail and um, to also get an Amazon package that was out in the front. And it's hot, like his cheeks turned red so quickly. Right, baby? Yes, my cheeks turned red so fast. It sucks because I really wanted to have him out for the summertime and I wanted to enjoy it, but it's just so hot. Especially after our little vacation, he's already kind of tan. He had a little sunburn on his shoulders, so did I. So now we're spending some time indoors. But I feel bad. I feel like I'm depriving him, you know, of that like vitamin D, I guess, and just exploring. Which, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I share my speech content for SLPAs and I also share content, you know, in my life at home on there. And I recently shared that you should be thankful for your child, blank, 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 blank. I put six different things and I just really want people to take that into, you know, like their own perspective as you go along your day-to-day -day life with your kids, if you have kids. Because it's easy to get wrapped up in this idea of, oh, I have to take him outside. But you should be thankful your toddler wants to go out and is active and is healthy and can go outside, you know what I mean? Or if we get dragged into reading a book for like the fifth time for the day. No, like you should be thankful that your toddler wants to listen to your voice and can follow along. There's just so many things that we take for granted, right? So I think that's enough of me talking. We should get into <laughs> putting away his clothes. So years later, this is how Rio's corner came out. I'm so excited. Ah, how cute. Well, I mean, ignore the picture, you know, being sideways, but this is his new little corner. We used to have these two shelves a lot higher and then it left uh, the holes in the wall right here. So I'm just hiding them for now with these two pictures that he always wants off the wall anyway. I have this top shelf for him for just accessories. There was two sunglasses, but it disappeared already the bottom shelf is the most accessible so that'll be his what's it called the books for now and then i try to include both amir and his little hook for accessories i mean it's a small space but it seems to look so cute look at that oh my gosh so fun fact i've always 
uh, raved about these shelves I got from Amazon. I'll actually look for them. I bought them when Rio, before he was born, I believe. And then I made them into like a rack for clothes. And then the other rack was intended for either stuffed animals or books. And now they kind of went not used because my son learned how to get up and then reach for them or reach for them with really long things like a rake and stuff or a broom, for example. So now I use them for a sort of Montessori style corner for him. This has, uh-oh. And then I do have a hook already that's intended for anything. It could be towels, it could be blankets, it could be um, hats. So I'm using it for hats and caps for him, which he does already have. And then I have a small moon size, moon shaped mirror that was intended for his room and his nursery when he was a newborn. And then I did have already pictures appear on the wall right behind me that he's always asking for anyway, because it's a lot of pictures of grandpa and of him with you know cousins and stuff so he's always asking for them anyway so i put them at his height and it came out so cute we're taking a little break and we're eating some pasta with lemon and zucchini and chicken Oh, you don't want any chicken? Okay, I'm sorry. Sure. So he's been a super picky eater lately. All he wants to eat is fruit and no veggies, barely anything. Yesterday, I was surprised he ate mushroom. And I'm very surprised he's eating spaghetti because he's not eating my rice. I even had to go to McDonald's like two weeks ago to make him eat. So dang, it's been like about two weeks that he's been a picky eater. Um, anyway, I went to McDonald's and he ate the nuggets. So it's definitely picky eating, but I'm not gonna force it. I feel like he'll just do it for longer if I do it like that. Okay, so now Rio is asleep and I can show you guys the final look at his room because I didn't just end up doing his clothes like I originally planned to. I plan to just kind of get rid of some clothes that no longer fit him. And then it turned out to only be a few outfits. So it wasn't really necessary, but I'm glad I took this day to do it because I'm gonna completely show you the room. When we were pregnant, we thought we were going to use this room all the time with the crib and stuff. However, as Rio's grown up, and I'm sure it's like this with a lot of families, he sleeps with us. <laughs> so we just feel more comfortable with him like that. We don't want him completely on his own yet. He's not there yet. So I know other people do it completely different, but we do not. He has our crib right next to our bed. So he does sleep in his crib from time to time, but it's right next to us. So his room is essentially like a playroom. That wasn't the intention, but it's become that. And so that's why I'm remodeling here and there. And this just feels so much cleaner. Another tip is that if you have really large items like we have a slide for him that we don't always keep outside we also have a big trampoline for him that we don't always keep outside and then we also have big kind of trucks slash cars that he can walk on and get on on his own so i consider those like bigger items and we don't always want them in his room or i've found i've learned that i have to continuously rotate them for him to stay interested in them because if we just keep them out all day long in our room in the living room in his room then he just doesn't get the best use out of it so i do have to rotate them another thing is that we did end up getting um a new tv stand this was a while ago so our old tv stand has kind of become his toy shelf you know and i've always kind of gone for a montessori style in his room but it hasn't always been possible because when i think about buying a shelf one they're either so expensive that i know i'm not going to get much use out of it or two when i find one that i do like for an affordable price i always talk myself out of it because then i think okay by the time he's done using it or by the time we need him to sleep on his by himself basically in his own room he's gonna need the space. Like he's not gonna have the space for a crib and a shelf just for toys in his room. So I always talk myself out of it. So that's just a quick, a long way of saying that our TV, our old TV stand became the thing that he needed for his toys and it worked out perfectly. We walk in, literally this is the 
door and we still have the chair here we don't have the little footrest and stuff because that's all in his closet now we're going to use this space for now for some of his stuffed animals because he was just having them pile up either on this seat or on the shelf and we have some blankets there this side i'm also going to use just for stuffed animals or whatever we need to at the time over here i'm so proud <laughs> we have his toy shelf so if you know anything about montessori you know that it essentially is for the child to be able to independently get their toys and you lay it out in a way that it's not already done for them and that's a bad example <laughs> the puzzle pieces should not already be in there it should be more like this where stuff is outside of the toy and they can explore as they need to they use the toy as they want up here so i have some stuff that i actually saved from my baby shower i got a lot of space items when we first knew that our you know nursery was going to be space themed we still have this little wooden thing on the side and i added <laughs> woody's hat from toy story we have this super cute astronaut he's made of glass though and he's kind of heavy so i've always kind of hit it from rio because he was too young and i thought he was gonna hit himself um of course his stuffed animals that don't fit on the side of the chair these two were super cute i was never able to hang them up but i think they fit really good right there of course i always try to lay out one of the big um toys outside and on the top shelf down here we have his little coco melon phone i have to get rid of the stuff in the back puzzle a plane shape sorter some instruments he was into and then another toy let's take this out and let's take out these pieces as well he did already see the room but i'm hoping he's more excited in the morning like hopefully he forgets overnight we have this extra space which i didn't really know what to do with at first i was like and eh, it's like dead space but we have this plant don't ask about the <laughs> pot rio has broken both of our pots so that's what we're working with um over here we have his little trash can we need one we used to have this in his closet or we tried to get rid of it but we really need the trash can because little things come up all the time now here's his dresser and i finally was able to clear up this space it's always packed with his clothes we have this nightlight i got this was back from like my baby shower i believe and then his basket full of useful things diapers and all and then his little money, his piggy bank. We walk over this way. So this I'm super proud of. I don't think it's ever leaving. Um, this is just like for him to, you know, measure himself. Up here we've got the super cute explore. And I like that it's right above, you know, this space. Uh, this way we have a super cute Rio Alessandro that my friend Abby got done for Rio's nursery down here is the space i am the most proud of this is so cute his little space that he gets to be in so we got the two pictures of family we got his sunglasses all on top a couple of books that i'll rotate here and there because i'll probably rotate that like every other day if i can and then we have his mirror that i'm excited about and then this little hanger here for his hats and then a place to sit. I guess it'll become like a little reading nook over time. And then over here, I don't have anything. This is where we used to have the four pictures, but I mean, when we open up the door anyway, it like takes up the whole wall. Oh, well, half the wall, so I'm not super excited about having to fill it up, you know? And that's his room. There's just so much more space like to play in and stuff, you know? It feels a lot smoother. Oh, I didn't even talk about this. So this was one of the first things I got when I knew what our theme for the nursery was going to be. That was the very first item I got. And um, over time, it's kind of become like a dump for his toys. And I always intended on keeping it out because it tells you what the theme of the room is. But now it's just his little hamper. <laughs> but I think it's cute. It's a cute way of letting him know, hey, your clothes goes in there before we take a bath. And yeah, yeah.
so this vlog went a lot <laughs> um, different than I intended. I did not intend to make like a whole room makeover. I shouldn't call it makeover, huh? Like a remodel of his room. I didn't intend on doing that today, but that's how it played out. And I'm glad I took this time to do it. I really, really am. Because I feel so refreshed and I'm ready to take on tomorrow. <laughs> it's a clean space and I just feel like it's a lot, you know, we can breathe in here finally. We got rid of all the big items and stuff, so... Yes, if you found this video useful or if you liked it, please make sure to give my video a like and subscribe to my channel as well. It'll mean so, so much to me. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.